Your date of birth holds all the secrets to your soul. Huh? You give us your date of birth, we'll tell you the secrets to love, the secrets to lust, and who the best person for you just might be. I have the answers. Check out Secrets of Birthdays at secretsofbirthdays.com. Hello, your royal majesty, and welcome to Friday. It's finally Friday. I think that's how you're feeling. Sunny and super childlike for the royalty of the zodiac. That's because the moon is full, honey, in Sagittarius, putting emotional focus on what you do best, being your king or queen, being that royalty, being a star. That's what you do. And this is probably the most star-felt weekend of the whole summer. One of them, except for your birthday period, which, of course, lasts for about 30 solid days, you Leos. In fact, most of you Leos are probably already planning it, aren't you? Send the invitations, I'm ready. Either way, this weekend is a weekend of star felt for you. Your heart is on fire. But remember, the spiritual work your majesty deals with your place in society. In fact, this weekend, it's time to decide what you want to step away from. You used to want to be known for this. You used to want to have this title. You used to want to have this corner office in this office building. Or you used to want to have this car because it represented how you were. And these, there's outdated parts of your social reputation. There's outdated friendships. There's outdated aspects of your marketing campaign for the universe. So let's cross some things off your list that no longer apply. Remember that frees you up to focus on what you want to do. This next month with the sun in Gemini, it's about Leo's getting out there and marketing themselves in a big way, especially with Mars in your sign. Now, more going on. Over the weekend, the moon moves into Capricorn. So Sunday and Monday, that fire and starry shifts to your daily reality. You're going to be hyper aware of your reality. In fact, on Sundays, the moon crosses Pluto. You probably have to let go of an old habit or a lifestyle part of you that doesn't serve you anymore. This happens once a month, every month, just a little layer of you kind of goes away. So you're going to shed a little bit of your lifestyle and emotional attachment to something. Maybe it's something in the body that usually triggers as well. Maybe you're attached to chocolate milk. You got to give it up. Chocolate milk's killing you, something like that. And also Saturn. Saturn goes direct in Virgo on Sunday. Very powerful stuff. That means that you are now ready to run your soul capital 2.0. There's no more guessing on what you're worth. There's no more guessing on how much you should get paid. There's no more guessing on self, how self-confident you are. The universe has nothing else to tell you, Leo. It's time to move forward and move forward fast. Between now and July 22nd, Leos are in basically enacting what they're worth and demanding from the universe what they're worth and not stepping down. Hopefully not. You won't get a chance to upgrade your prices again for 30 years, so don't, don't screw it up. And Uranus! Uranus is in Aries between now and the second week in August. You know what that means? That means that Leo's minds are going to get blown. That's right. Mind-breaking, mind-shattering philosophy. Holy shift! This summer is going to be a summer that really just changes you for life as far as what you used to believe in, what you didn't believe in. All you got to do is experience it to understand why, but I thought I'd throw it out there because get ready, the party's about to happen. Now speaking of party, I'll be partying on Monday, so there's no horoscopes on Monday, but I will be back on Tuesday. For those of you, by the way, who subscribe to Soul Nirvana, I've got a Jupiter and Aries Astro Extra going live, so you can get a head start on Jupiter moving into Aries, so check it out if you are in Nirvana. All right, your Royal Majesty, that's all we have for the holiday weekend. I am back on Tuesday. Repeat Tuesday. Till then, live love be. So